Do beneficiaries always supersede those named in a last will and testament? The reason why I put it in is because I feel like the person means heirs, right? Like, do the heirs, if there are heirs that are not mentioned in the last will and testament, can, you know, does the will precede those heirs? I now think we're going to get asking. into a definitional. This, this is what I think they mean. Okay. I think they're talking about beneficiaries of things like life insurance policies. Gotcha. Okay, that's probably it. When I read it, my, my knee jerk was, the people named in a will are beneficiaries. Like yeah. that, that's yes. a beneficiary. So the lawyer term, beneficiaries are the people who are named in the will. Right. And the heirs are the people who would receive it if there was no will. Right. But what I think that question is going for is, do life insurance beneficiaries always come first before people named in a will? And the answer is yes. Yes. Gotcha. Unless life insurance okay. policy hilariously has the, the beneficiaries are dead or there's a, they fail to name a beneficiary, then it would go to the estate. Gotcha. Right. And then it could be distributed to the beneficiaries of the will. Yeah. Really, like beneficiary is just a term meaning the person who gets the benefit of a, of an instrument. Yeah. Right. But, yeah. So in the life insurance policy that payout would go to the beneficiary. It would never even touch the estate. Yeah, it's not part of it. It's typically like a contract almost between the insurance company, the person who has the insurance policy, and the beneficiary. Those are with people in the relationship, and it's not. Yeah, and the only the thing that triggers the death triggers the transfer of money, but it's not mm -hmm. part of the probate process. And you can have your life insurance policy go to your estate or a to trust. be distributed, yeah. or like to a trust to be distributed that way. You can do that, but for the most part, if your life insurance policy has a beneficiary listed, that's who it's going to. Yep, gotcha. So let's say that they have two different like beneficiaries listed, right? Let's say I got divorced, right? And so mm -hmm. at the time I got the life insurance policy, I put my wife's name on the You haven't updated thing. it? I haven't updated it, but we created a will 10 years later um, where I say the life insurance policy is going to go to my kids. Okay. What happens? So essentially you can't transfer in your will what you don't own. So I can leave, this is about the jokes, like I can leave my Fabergé A collection to my brother he will be disappointed to find out that i don't have Doesn't such exist. a collection in the same mm -hmm. way the will can't convey a life insurance policy that goes to somebody else so your ex and ex-spouses in georgia can get the insurance policy and some i think a few states divorce severs is presumed to sever beneficiaries uh, I, that is generally not the case in georgia so if you get divorced, you should really check out the life insurance policy. But also with divorce decrees, I th I'll caveat that is a lot of times we'll get divorced. Part of the divorce order says you need to maintain life insurance for your ex-spouse or for your kids really? as part of the mm -hmm. alimony, mm -hmm. spousal support. <laughs> so, there might be, so there might be <laughs> reasons the ex-spouse is listed on the um, life insurance. Mm -hmm. And even if um, he, they wanted to, they would find someone in um contempt of court if they changed it yeah. um so but and then generally though you can't leave anything you didn't own so anything in the will that you didn't own it's it might raise expectations for that beneficiary in the witless in the will mm -hmm. oh i'm getting an insurance policy and you find right. out they don't have an insurance policy or like That's it, all you'll it exists but you never owned that money to give exactly so right. it sucks for the beneficiary at well, that no, moment. It's, it's great for the beneficiary. Oh, the beneficiary but then, the insurance. But, but then the it will, sucks for the beneficiary. Yeah, on the will. Whoever gets on the will, it sucks for. Right. Yeah. This is why lawyers. You see how this terminology is all very confusing? Yeah. Yeah. Get a lawyer. Get a get lawyer, lawyer. Get a will. This is one thing right. that. Yeah. Hire Steven. Exactly. This is the segment of the show called Can I Do This? I've written a will. It's a very nice, sophisticated will. Before I export save as, I'm going to change the font to Wingdings and 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 save the will, export it, and then it's I good. proceed to walk out my door. I, I like file it with whoever, and then I go get hit by a bus. Wait, is Wingdings? Is that, is that words or the symbol? No, it's, it's symbols. symbols. But it is a language like recognized in Microsoft Word in that area, that family of technology. Honestly, so. I think you can make it work because what we'd have to do is get yeah, a certified translation. It. Yeah, you have to get a certified translation I'll do just, an OCR recognize text and then highlight and just do a quick yeah I'll order. have to literally do that and then attach that to the signed will and let the court know that this is a true copy <laughs> uh, of the wingdings will I, and <laughs> honestly what, what and if the court really wanted to and someone uh, objected to this will we could literally in the courtroom type it out in wingdings <laughs> word for word yeah. and hopefully it pops up I in think, English I think that somebody would have to do that automated just change the font and see what it looks like yeah I think someone has to do that but then just to make sure there was nothing lost in the scanning OCR, I, I think they might have to take like a, a, a character map yeah. for Wingdings 
and compare it to the will to make sure it comes out accurate. And it's like 50 pages long. It'll somehow cost like a gazillion dollars to do that. I would charge so much money to do that because yeah. it would take a lot of time to do, but I think I'm going to charge extra as hazard pay. Or because, or because – Because I'm going to throw my computer. Exactly. And then I'm going to have to buy a new I'm going to have to buy a new computer and fix my wall. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, let us know. Post a comment. Guys, we went to the trouble of creating you a fantastic PDF listed in the description of this video. It is a summary of the key mistakes to avoid when planning for your estate. Um, you can go get that. Steven and James both wrote it together, and it is a summary of all of the mistakes they've seen people make as they think about estate planning. Don't make those mistakes. Your family is the ones that's going to pay for it, and they're not going to like you very much. So that's how you go in to avoid them. Click the link in the description. You can get that PDF. It's absolutely free. You're welcome. We're so generous. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you would like us to plan your estate, give us a call 404-939-7562 or visit us on the web, modernestateplanning.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.